Boom shakalaka. Welcome back to the Austin Automates channel. I have been using Closebot for 30 days now, and here are five hacks that I would recommend if you are looking to get started super fast and understanding how to sell bots, use bots, set up bots, close bots, all of that. Now to me, number one has always been the most important no matter what I've done in business and in life, but I'm going to start with number five. Let's dive right in. So hack number five is this, keep your bot super simple. Okay. It does not need to do your customer's taxes. This right here is an old SMS database reactivation campaign that I used to use for solar companies. It was clunky. It still works, but it would break all the time. It was finding how to correct things and set things up took forever. And and it just wasn't as simple as I would like it to be. Using Closebot, I was able to turn something like that into something like this, to where now it's straight to the point, it answers the questions, it qualifies the homeowner, it asks a few questions, and then it's able to book the appointment. So that's number five, keep your bot super simple. You do not need to do something crazy out there. It doesn't need to translate a book for them. They just need it to do something very simple. Pick something and have it do that and keep it super, super simple. That is number five. Hack number four, know exactly who you are going to target and what exactly you are going to offer them. Because bots are so awesome and Closebot does such a great job at many different things, you could do database reactivation campaigns. You could have it doing reputation management. You could have it responding to frequently asked questions. You could have it doing onboarding. You could have it actually responding to people's ads so that they're able to be quick to lead, speed to lead, and they're able to book that appointment as that lead comes in. Pick one thing and get really good at that. For me, I like to get lost in the sauce and I'm like, I need to be able to do this and I need it to be able to do this and I need it to be able to do this. And I wanna learn it all. And the problem is when I go out there and I try to learn it all, it takes me twice as long to try and figure things out because I'm trying to learn database reactivation, reputation management, missed call text back, all of that stuff. Pick one thing and know exactly who you're gonna target and what exactly you are going to offer them. That is the fastest way to get your first bot up and running and your first customer sold. Hack number one is actually what helped me dial this in. Hack number three is pick an outreach strategy and stick to that one outreach strategy after setting up your very first demo bot. I'm gonna actually show you a really cool outreach strategy that I learned from hack number one, and it, it's freaking awesome. So what I have been offering to people is an AI powered chat assistant. And this is simple as going through Google and finding local businesses where their website and looking at their website and finding businesses that usually get a lot of internet traffic, car dealerships, HVAC companies, solar companies, like people that are getting some internet traffic and the ones that do not have an AI powered chat assistant, I literally do a loom recording and I show them how my AI powered chat assistant works. I'm like, Hey, can I ask you some questions? And then I show them how the AI powered chat assistant will go through pre-qualify a customer. It will collect their information. It will then set an appointment all through conversational AI booking. And then I do a loom recording and I send the business a loom recording. All I do is I go here, Google local solar companies. And I go right here to Agathon Solar. And you'll notice they don't have anywhere to engage with their website or with their information. They have get a quote and then call this number. And the, the chances that someone's going to just fill this out to get a quote is very unlikely. However, if there was an AI powered chat assistant here that could actually collect their first name, their email, and then do a, make it seem like they're gonna get a quote right here online and then have someone reach out to them or have a bot reach out to them. And so what I'm doing is doing a loom recording where I'm showing them like, hey, you guys, I set up this AI powered chat assistant so that when people show up to your website, they're actually able to get answers right away. I would love to send you a demo. They reach out because it's, I'm actually sending it to their business page and one out of three people are saying, hey, yeah, I'd be interested in taking a look at that. So no matter what it is you decide, pick an outreach method and stick to that one outreach method until you start getting some leads flowing in. That is hack number three. And hack number two is this. You do not need to become your client's marketing agency. You don't need to run their ads. You don't need to do their SEO. You are a SaaS company, you sell a piece of software that can actually work side by side with their marketing department. So if they're generating leads online or they want to have some sort of AI on their website, you sell a piece of software 
that can bridge the gap between people online and connecting them with their business. Again, you don't need to run their ads. You don't need to do SEO. You don't need to do lead generation. You do not need to become their marketing agency. You sell a piece of software. All right, so let's jump into my favorite number one. And before we do that quick recap, number five, your bot does not need to be able to do taxes. Keep it super simple and have the bot do one thing. Number four, know exactly who you are going to target and exactly what it is that you are going to offer them. Number three, pick one outreach strategy on one platform and stick to that strategy. Number two, you do not need to be their marketing agency. You sell a piece of software that will help bridge the gap between people online, their leads, and their organization. And hack number one, my absolute favorite that I've used across every single business that I've ever been a part of is do not try and re invent the wheel. Learn from people that have already done this, already been there and have already had success. So right when I set up my closed bot account, I had questions. I wanted to know how to build the bots, how to sell the bots, what the best methods were, how to get started as soon as possible. And so one of the things I did was I joined a community that already had all of this stuff laid out. They had trainings, they had templates, they had snapshots, they had everything. They had people that have already been doing this and doing it very successfully already Already inside of this community with all of these trainings included. And I was like, I need that because I want to get started as soon as possible. So what I did was I joined this community and I dove all in. You could see me at top of the leaderboards there. I engaged. I wanted to be a part of this. I wanted to know what people were getting success, how much people were selling bots for. And I started just diving all in. You can see here that they have all of the trainings. They have all of the masterclasses. They have uh, templates. They have stuff that you could already use right inside of the community. And because I went all all in and started using the trainings and started selling bots super quick. I ended up hitting the top of the leaderboard because I, I love being engaged inside of communities, especially when they have already seen success that I'm trying to get. And now I am a preferred partner inside of this community and helping people get things set up as fast as humanly possible. So those are my five biggest hacks. If you are using Closebot and you want to figure out how to get up and running as fast as possible, don't reinvent the wheel. Get into this community where they already have exactly how to start, they have how to build the bots, they have blueprints, they have how to acquire customers, they have bots that sell themselves, they have a snapshot and template library, they have interviews, they have everything that you need to get up and start running right here inside of this group. So if you want to jump in and join this community and get things started as fast as possible, be surrounded with like-minded people that want to actually help you succeed, there is a link inside of the description on how to get into this community. Again, you get a whole bunch of training, a whole bunch of free snapshots, a whole bunch of templates, and you will be up and running. There are people that are have been inside of this community for a couple of days and are already selling bots for $2,500, $5,000 build outs, and then with that residual income. And it's all inside of this community, step by step on how to do it. Those are my five biggest hacks that I learned inside of this community while using Closebot. So I look forward to seeing you guys in there. Click the link, jump into this community. If you already have a Closebot account, if you do not have a Closebot account. Um, I do have my link for your Closebot account in the description as well. And then I also have a step-by-step uh, -step how to get this set up in two minutes. If you don't want to jump into the community, I do have an SOP on how to, to get this set up in two minutes or less. But again, it doesn't come with all the acquisition, the templates and all of that stuff. But I look forward to seeing you guys in there. Let me know if you have any questions. Put it in the comments. If you have a specific question and want to reach out to me personally, reach me at austinautomates at gmail.com. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.